what's up you guys so I'm gonna show you a little bit about canva canva is a website and you can also download it on your mobile app so if you want to use that to create um, you can design flyers magazines t-shirts and logos any posters stickers anything you want and it's available for free so today I'm gonna show you a little bit how I create my zines using canva Okay, so just go to canva.com and click sign up on the right hand corner. I used my Gmail account to enroll into Canva. You can use Facebook. I chose personal as my use. And then um, here, this is where you search for your design. You can type in flyer or you can type in logo, t-shirt design, poster, anything you want, you can type in here. But today we're gonna type in magazine. So I'm creating a photography zine. Uh, I've been in my garden a lot and I let a lot of my grass grow. I will be creating a native indigenous Illinois plant zine. So I've looked at a few of these designs. On the left, you can see me scrolling. They have a lot of different designs. And again, you don't have to use any of these templates. This is just what I'm doing now to show as an example, it may not be my finished product. So what I like to do is I like to choose a few of them and just add another page and then play with all of them and see which one I like best. Once I've collected the ones that I like, the next step to do is search for photos. Canva has their own personal gallery of photos. A lot of them are free. So you can select the photos from the options they have or you can upload your own images. So I have already picked out some photos that I want to use for my zine. So I just uploaded them and I'm going to paste them into the template. And you can move around the image, you can resize it. It has a lot of different fonts available and there's a lot available for the free version. Um, the other cool thing Canva does is you can uh, add effects to your photo. So you can mix the colors and this is really cool. Like if you have a logo and you want to play with it or a photo that you want to play with, you can also change the contrast, the brightness, saturation, typical photo editing options. You can crop the image, you can flip it, you can center it, it'll automatically it has its own ruler it'll center it for you you can change the transparency so if you don't want it to be a solid image you can change that it'll also give you color templates for the colors that are on the page which is really cool like the color palette so you can use those colors to complement the existing colors you can add elements there's a lot of elements that i like to use you can add stickers you can add little graphics. You can play with the colors. You can alter the size of any element. So once you're done with your zine, I obviously am not. I just want to show you how to download. The cool thing is it'll allow you to download different formats like JPEG, PNG, PDF, and I like to download in PDF print. And as you can see, there's my in the works zine. And so I encourage you to play with Canva, check out all the elements, check out all the designs, just play with it and see what you can create and have fun.